What's up guys, this is Dunkus, and this game needs no introduction. It is all the rage today. People are frantically trying to get codes and spamming inboxes and spamming Twitter and spamming whatever. Spam mashing their F5 key to try to get a code from IGN, but uh, your boy Dunkus has pulled through for you guys and gotten a code. So uh, I'm going to upload this first game just to uh, give you guys my impressions and uh, how I feel about the game. This is actually my second game because the first game I I was way too excited. I just fired it up right away. I didn't even turn on my capture program, but figured I better turn it on so I could get a game to talk over. And uh, actually, I got matched up against Pink Ranger, and she is a fellow YouTuber. And uh, it was kind of cool because uh, I've never played with her, but I I watch her videos a lot, and it was pretty cool to play with or against her and get beat by her team. <laughs> We, we get beat pretty bad in this game, but I figured it's got some exciting moments, and it's, hey, it's Halo Reach, you guys want to watch it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is a game called Stockpile, and it's a weird version of Capture the Flag, where there's like three neutral flags, and you got to bring the flags back to your little scoring area, and you got to keep them there until they collect. It's like every minute or so, they the flags collect, and when before they collect, you can come in and grab them out of your opponent's area, like I just did right there. And uh, it's a pretty cool, pretty cool concept. Um, I don't really know about this. I didn't know the level at all, so I was just sitting in their base with the sword, which always, always a good idea. As you can see, I just go to work here with the sword and just probably piss them off. But um, hey, it's my second game. I can do what I want, right? <laughs> yeah. As you can, as you can see, the flags just got collected, and I think we got one flag during that collection. But anyway, one of the biggest changes from Halo 3 to Halo Reach is armor abilities. Uh, they take the place of equipment that was in Halo 3, and you, they're a permanent ability that you carry with you at all times. And as you can see, I'm using Sprint right now. And it's got to be one of my favorites, because going from Modern Warfare to Halo, I've always missed Sprint the most. I feel like the gameplay is so much slower in Halo, and it's hard to play sometimes, but Sprinting really adds another layer to the mix, and it's quite a good addition if you could... If, uh, if I do say so myself. They don't let you sprint for a ridiculous amount of time. There's no marathon. There's no light weight. It's just about three seconds from a full meter and uh, you're good to go. Next ability is called Armor Lock, I believe. It's uh, a form of invincibility where you trigger your ability, hold down your button, and you take a knee and there's this little force field around you that kind of protects you from everything. Melees, grenades, rockets, even lasers, all kinds of whatever. And uh, you might be asking, why is this good? Because somebody can just wait behind, wait behind you, and um, wait for your thing to to go away, and then just kill you. Well, if you hold down the button long enough, there's an EMP blast that actually disables your enemy shields if they're in range, and it pushes them back away from you, so they can't just sit right on top of you. And uh, it's actually pretty useful if somebody's shooting you, just crouch down in your little uh, armor lock and wait for them to come up on you, and trigger the EMP, and then one shot them, and they're done. It's a pretty good, pretty good ability. I, I enjoy that one. The next one is one I haven't really used much. It's Active Camo. And, um, I don't know. I just don't really like it because it disables your sound pretty much and it uh, jams your radar. So you are invisible, invisible, but um, you can't do much else. So it's good for stealth. That's about it. And then the last one is the Jetpack. And it's probably one of the most used as of right now just because everybody wants to fly, but it's really not that good because you're pretty much a sitting duck when you're up in the air. But it is good for this level because it's multi-tiered and allows you to get get to places fast, and um, it does have its, have its high points, but uh, overall I don't really use it that much. So as far as an overall impression, um, this game is definitely awesome. I played a lot of Halo 3 back in the day before Call of Duty, and kind of lost touch with it, but this game is going to bring me back to the franchise because it's definitely a lot different and a lot of fun, and I can't wait to play some more. I'm actually going to get off here and play a little bit more right now. So I'll talk to you guys really soon, and hopefully I'll see a lot of you in my open lobby on Saturday, which will be in Modern Warfare 2. And um, yeah, look forward to Monday when everybody else gets the beta and starts to populate the servers. But um, until then, have a great weekend, guys. I'll be talking to you really soon. Hope to see a lot of you on Saturday in my open lobby. Later, dudes.